What a job by our group, just continuing to battle, continuing to fight. And, you know, there's a lot of guts, there's a lot of resilience in this group. And it's just one game, um, but I'm really proud of them. I'm really proud of them for a lot of the things that went into it. Um, guys that had to step up. I thought special teams was a huge edge for us today. I mean, for Josh Carty, uh, for Ethan Evans, for Alex Ward to be able to, you know, make their kicks in crunch time, the extra points to tie it up, the field goal to ultimately win it. What a cool deal for Xavier Smith. You know, great job um, aggressively fielding that thing. Got some blocks, got to the sideline, got us in, um, you know, good field position right off the jump. And then Ronnie Rivers converting on the fake punt. I thought that was a real difference for us. Um, Kyron Williams in the red area came to life in a big way. Uh, it wasn't perfect by any stretch, but um, I thought those guys did an excellent job when we had to have it. And defensively, we tightened up. We got stops when we needed it. Um, and then Matthew Stafford was outstanding. I thought, you know, there were some mistakes that we made around him, but he hung in there. He kept his eyes down the field. I thought he delivered the ball accurately all throughout the day. Um, I don't know what his numbers were, but I thought he was outstanding today. I mean, he had crunch time production. Um, he had great, great, great leadership. Um, Tutu Atwell was awesome as well. I mean, there's a couple hidden yards where you're talking about, you know, down the field penalties. There's a 48-yard penalty that Tutu gets um, on the penalty, you know, when we were in the third quarter. Um, Kobe Parkinson ended up drawing the P.I. right there when they played a man coverage at the end. Uh, a lot of guts, a lot of grit. I'm really proud of this group. And then uh, we'll see how we come back tomorrow. And hopefully we don't have any more injuries. Sean, um, from last year's outfit to this year with special teams, um, can you take us behind the scenes a little bit more about the amount of work that's gone into turning around that group? Well, I think it's, you know, I think it's being able to commit to a process, you know, and, and we've got some – um, better overall athleticism. I think Chase has done a great job, you know, bringing in Scott Frost to be able to help out. Um, but we've got some continuity with the specialists, obviously adding Josh um, in the mix as a kicker. But you're looking at Ethan Evans take a step um, as a punter and then obviously as a holder. I think getting Alex Ward back is big. We missed him towards the latter part of the year. It's a big thing people don't talk enough about. But uh, really proud of Ch Chase Blackburn's leadership. He's done an excellent job. We've, that's been a strength of ours through three weeks. Well, so now from your primary offensive weapons, just what does it mean to you for this team to be able to rally like they did here at home? Yeah, it was a big day. It was a big deal for today, you know, and we've got a lot of football left. And so um, I want to see us be able to move forward. I want to see us be able to hopefully have some continuity that we can build on. You know, you got some guys, Bo Limmer making his second start as a center, as a rookie. Logan Bruss making his first start as a left guard. Getting Alaric Jackson back and having Rob with his second start at the tackle position. Kevin Dotson's really been the only one that's been able to remain healthy of that group. Um, I thought Colby did a nice job. Hunter Long got some really good snaps. And then I mentioned it, you know, Demarcus Robinson comes up big. I thought Jordan Whittington made a couple plays. Um, Tyler Johnson has his contributions, you know, and then Tutu, you know, he definitely made his presence felt. Um, good aggressive hands. Um, you talk about being able to track that ball um, when we had to be able to have it to end up, you know, leading to tying it up at 24 to get us down in the tight red area on the five yard line. That was outstanding by him. Um, going by a, a premier player in this league. Your Charles defense is very young. What was it like to see what they kind of did in the fourth quarter, especially when you tied it to get another Yeah, I, I thought, you know, they're just taking steps. I thought, you know, Purdy, oh my gosh, I mean, he's running around forever on a couple of those plays, but yeah, you guys are laughing with me. It's not funny. It's funny. <laughs> But it, it, you know what? He's a competitor. I got a ton of respect for him and what they've done since he stepped in there. Um, but our guys just kept competing. They kept fighting. Like I said, I, I think you know I'm more interested in a. I see better than I hear. I saw a team respond after a really humbling week last week. And you know, three hours will never define you, good or bad, unless you allow it to. And you know, we've got to do a good job of being able to build on this. You know, this game's going to be over. It's great to be able to get our first win in the fashion that we were able to get it. Uh, but how quickly can we make sure, hey, let's look at this, let's clean it up, and let's move forward um, while making sure that there's still a little bit of joy in terms of how you move. Um, and this will make for, you know, a good opportunity to progress and try to be able to build on this. So what did you make of the... the city the way yeah, I, you know, I, I thought it was a big deal, Sam, especially in his first, you know, his touchdown on the little choice route. That was big. You know, we haven't uh, gotten to use him as a pass catcher enough. I thought he did a great job breaking off man coverage and then to be able to have the swag to flip in was pretty cool. Um, I thought we got some really tough, hard-earned yards and some crunch time situations, some short yardage, some third down and two or less thought our guys did a good job of removing the line of scrimmage. That's a really tough front. Obviously, they've got their players all across the board. Um, and I was just proud of the way that our guys fought, stuck to it. And, and I thought Kyron was big. He's always just got such a great game day demeanor, Sam. And, and it showed up, and he was able to finish a handful of plays today that 
Led to good fantasy day, I'm sure, for his owners. <laughs> what was it like seeing Tutu meet this moment? It was obviously the most played. I wouldn't say that I'm surprised. You know, it, it makes you realize you probably should have gotten other opportunities. Um, he's always been called upon, and, and he's always kind of delivered. You know, whether you look at early on in the season last year, um, and then I think this is a stepping stone for him. But uh, I'm proud of him. I think it's a real tribute to his work. Obviously, Eric Yarber's leadership to be able to continuously have guys step up in situations like this. And so uh, happy for Tutu. He deserves that. Coach. What did you? What would be going through your mind? <laughs> just get him down, please. He's just in this game. That's what's going through my mind. When it got strung out around like the plus territory, I'm like, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> Great job by Cam Kitchens being able to finish it off. So to the improbability, though, of coming back the way you guys did, how do you describe that besides the first two words you came in with? And, 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 where, does it, and where does it rank on the games that you've had to do? Do what you did. You know, I think just considering the circumstances in the situation, I'm proud of the group. This is a new group. Every year is a new year. Uh, but when you look at just some of the different things, some of the adversity that this group's had to overcome, and it is three games, right? It's it's one game. And it's week three of a of a 18 week season with buys and with a buy in between. So you got 17 of these guaranteed. Um, so I'm really proud of the group. But I think what comes to mind is is, is mental, physical toughness. You know, and, and most importantly, the mental toughness, the resilience. Um, those are some of the things that come to mind. Those are the types of men that we have in that locker room. And again, this is, uh, you know, there were some things that went our way. They, they ended up doing a great job of uh, creating some of the breaks. But there were some things that were fortunate. And, um, and we've got to be able to move forward. You know, this league is about how do you continuously move forward. It does seem like we might have come out of this thing pretty clean with injuries. So now you can start developing some continuity. You know, that's been a challenge for us with all the different moving parts. We haven't been able to commit to a process because there really hasn't been one where guys are working together. They're establishing a rapport, whether that be on the offensive line, Matthew with some of the receivers. And so I'm hopeful that we'll get some good news from Reggie and, uh, and we'll be able to progress with the group that we had out there today. Coach, what did you make of Byron Young's uh, performance today, the strip sack earlier? Yeah, today? it was big. You know, to be able to force that turnover, you know, I just felt his presence all day. I thought in the run game, um, being able to relentlessly pursue, you could even just see on a couple runs that got strung out. You know, he's a tough competitor. I think Joe Caniglio does a great job. They're taking steps, that group as a whole, that outside linebacker group. Um, BY led the way today, and I was really proud of him. Coach, what? significant increase in 12 personnel and then Jordan Whittington getting in the run service the way that he did. What did it take to overhaul? I know it's week to week, but yeah. what did it take to overhaul the offensive identity early in the week for the yeah, I think that's going to have to be something that we're going to continuously have to do, Jordan, you know, because these circumstances are, are different than anything that we've gone through. I think it's a real credit to the coaches, you know, Nick Cayley getting those guys ready to go. I mentioned Eric Yarber, Nate Shieldhouse, and Rob Calabrese do a great job. Can't say enough about Mike LaFleur. Um, I thought Dave were going also, you know, and Ryan Wendell. I mean, you know, Zach Cromer. There's all these guys that are doing a great job, and it's a it's a tremendous uh, tribute to those assistant coaches, and then ultimately the players being able to step up and deliver um, in these moments out here. And so we'll we'll have to continuously do that. And uh, you know, also Ron Gould. You know, I, there's not enough guys that I can mention because um, really pleased and, and lucky to be working with those guys. Coach, coach, coach. Coach. Hey, that's my guy. It's a new group. Well, I think it shows that there's a, there's a grit and there's a mental toughness. And, and you look at the week two uh, loss that we sustained, and you give you know the Cardinals a ton of credit. They they forced a lot of the things that didn't go well for us. But even in week one, you know there was examples of us continuing to fight, and we just came up short. But there were still a lot of those things that you could witness from this group. And there's going to be other adversity that we hit as we continue to move forward. How we handle it, uh, how we act, interact, and respond to all that is going to be key and critical. And I think today was a step in the right direction of what these guys are made of. Thank you, okay? Thank you guys. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.